Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to be having this conversation with you today. Um, as you're jumping on, everybody do say hello to us in the comments and we'll circle back and, you know, and say hello to you as well. So welcome, Jenny. Do you want to introduce yourself? Tell everybody who you are and how you help people. Absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me here. It is lovely to be here. Um, my name is Jenny McDonald and I am the Food Freedom Fairy. I have to carry <laughs> my wand everywhere now. I was asked last week where it was, so there it is. Um, love it. I love it. <laughs> I empower uh, cereal dieters and emotional eaters to break free from the dieting cycle and find peace with food. And I'm based in Coventry, so right in the Midlands. Um, yeah, and that is me. Oh, I love it. You are completely magical with the work that you do. Now, as we were talking um, before we jumped on, one of the questions I was asking you was like, you know, what, what was your reason for doing the Helix Method? I think people would love to hear that because you're already coaching, you're already in the world of, you know, um, helping people with food. So take us on that journey. What was, how did you come to add the Helix Method to your business? Sure. So I discovered, um, yourself for recommendation from a friend and I joined um one of the five day challenges and was like this is amazing and decided to join the wealth portal and then I was always trying to live in the energy of how can I add more value to my programs more value to my clients and what else do my clients need to know because obviously when you coach all you want is for your clients to have the you know the most incredible results mm. and it was like what else do they need to know and what came to me was they need to know how to align their energy. They need to know how to release the beliefs. I've always worked with limiting beliefs, but on a, a you know, on a mindset rather than an energy kind of point of view. So uh, it, the process to obviously releasing those beliefs with mindset coaching, it feels a lot stickier and longer. Now I know there's another way. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was where it was. And I think I remember messaging you and saying, uh, how do I learn to do this? And you were like, oh, well, <laughs> I'm about to launch something that uh, may be of interest. And that is uh, how I, I discovered that there was an option to train as a Helix Method mentor and yeah or helixer are we calling helixer it? we yeah we were having a conversation in the mentors group going what do we call ourselves people who are you know using the helix method and uh deb's uh buyers who is an incredible poet and um, was like it's got to be helixer but spelt as an elixir and i do talk about the the secret elixir of the, the helix method so helixers are people who <laughs> use the helix method <laughs> Yeah, I love that, that you brought that up and, and that you spoke to that piece around how the synchronicity of when you had that experience of actually, how do I do this? Um, you're using the Helix method yourself to, to think about, OK, how can I have, you know, um, help my clients have even better results or whatever it was that you were asking. And uh, I remember waking up in the morning to you sent me an email at about six in the morning and I'd woken up and checked my emails and I was like, well, unbeknown to you, the night before I'd had had a, a coaching call with my coach and had literally just written down, OK, launch the certification program in September, uh, you know, come up with, you know, the the, the steps of how we're going to launch it. And, everything. and I was like, and there's Jenny straight to my inbox, not even 12 hours later. <laughs> as you said we manifested each other <laughs> completely I love it I love it um so you you joined the helix method certification and obviously you were one of the first to, to come through the program what was your experience of of the training oh amazing yeah uh, amazing I mean I always think online training obviously we, we had the support from you but we had the own um, our own program to work through um and I'm always like conscious that sometimes online training, you 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 sign up and you don't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but because we knew, or certainly for me, because I knew that every two weeks we had a call, 
that kind of pushed me to keep up to date. It was great that we had access to you to fire in any questions into the group if we, you know, completed a module and we were like, I'm not sure about this or whatever. It was lovely to be part of the group because that shared experience and obviously you learn from from practicing don't you and delivering so to be able to pair up with people and you know practice whatever we were working on at that point was great but I and I really looked forward to our fortnightly calls like they, they were like the highlight of my week when it was fortnightly call because you just got so much from sharing that experience with the group and, and lots of different things come up that you can't put in a training package can you because it's it's when that happens for that person or what the topic comes up what they've practiced with a friend or a client mm -hmm. so yeah it was absolutely gold but in terms of the modules in the program it's just explained so well and literally to find everything that we need to be able to just go okay right I can drop that into my own world mm. now, into my own program it that was just like gold really so amazing. oh awesome I'm so happy to hear that because that was one of the things as I was creating it I was like right through the business coaching that I do with clients as well it's like what do I see that holds people back and it's creating the content and you know you may have the expertise in an area once you've kind of learned all the foundational techniques but then it's like oh my god what do I do <laughs> Yeah. I was like, well, this is how I've worked with clients. I know this works. This is the process I take my own clients through to get the results. So I'll just give it to the give it to the mentors. Yeah. Which is, so you can kind of fly with it. And actually, just to speak to that for a moment. So you mentioned about fortnightly calls. We now have three calls a month. So we do the first week uh, currently at the point of us recording this. It is on. Uh, we have our calls on the Thursday um, for the first three Thursday typically of each each month. And then we have an integration week. I think integration is really key it's a key part of transformation which is why I've been doing the the fortnightly course so there was it was paced so people aren't feeling like because everyone works at different paces but you've got time to to do the inner work for yourself or practice with somebody I think that's really key before you kind of keep moving through through all the modules yeah. um, so talk to us tell us what was what were the results that you've had you know so far with your clients some of the highlights the things that you oh, so enjoyed. the highlights um <laughs> so one client springs to mind who had attract emotions in her digestive system and once we discovered that it was well obviously we released it <laughs> using the index <laughs> method didn't leave it there um but once we discovered that her weight loss started to really flow because before she was kind of doing all of the things she knew were nourishing for her body and you know her movement was increasing but it was almost like she was stuck and there was just something not quite flowing so that really helped her to kick start her weight loss again which was a game changer obviously um I think um creating the whole 2.0 version is a, again another key element for me in terms of my clients because when you think about weight loss and food freedom, you just think about, oh, yeah, I, I want to be a smaller size. But as we know, there is such a bigger picture in, you know, that version of yourself, the belief she carries and all of the other nitty gritty that goes around that. And I think I always now start my programs with that 2.0 version creation and then embodying that. So that is just like so beautiful. And in terms of like my the clients that have been through since been through my program since the uh, I've added in the helix method they're typically losing 10 pounds to a stone in 12 weeks and that is without dieting so we know wow. that we can lose weight when we're dieting and you know my work is about them not dieting and finding food freedom so with all of their alignment practices that they're using from the helix method and the extra bit of you know um sparkle if you like that's added in it's just it's helping them stay in flow mm. and again for weight loss people on off on off and what they need is that consistent flow so raising their vibrations staying in flow losing <laughs> weight with ease and speed so yeah another one I'm just thinking about another client um moving weight set points mm -hmm. is a big um so 
for anybody that's watching that's done your your money set point kind of you know you do exactly the same thing with moving your weight set point through the helix method and and blocking all of those hidden secrets all those vows things we've you know um we're not aware that's going on in our energy field in our subconscious mind and then being able to align to that new weight set point because if you again I'm trying to keep references so people understand what I mean if they're not yeah. familiar with the <laughs> modality is that when we lose weight we go back and forward and we always tend to go back to that same weight don't we so being able to kind of release whatever's going on around that and align to a new weight means okay now I can be there and I can be there quite safely and comfortably and yeah, without any it in yeah 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 and it's the same just to give people that if they haven't had like a, that weight loss experience is like we I see this with my coaching people with money is you can increase money and then you can go back to your set point you can increase money and go back to your set point unless you've done that the work that we've been talking about within the helix method to be able to change those change those set points Jenny this is so exciting how does this feel for your clients having this these re incredible results oh like it's amazing and it do you know what it's just so satisfying and to receive messages like Jenny I've just got into a size 12 jeans what you do is truly amazing it's truly magical I'm like oh I haven't done anything you did the work I always say you've done the work I'm not with you 24 7 but it is just it's life-changing and uh, you know for my clients like your clients it's been a lifelong problem so mm -hmm. to be able to help someone change something that they've probably spent 30 or 40 years working on and not changed is just yeah it's beautiful that's so huge congratulations that's so exciting and, and I know one of the things I wanted to ask you was because I know that you use the helix method in your personal life so it'd be great for people to hear you know how you use it in your personal life and, and your business sure so um well they kind of intertwine so personally every morning I get up before the rest of the house and I have my little kind of um sacred time that is my alignment time I call it I'm you know I, when I write my to-do list that's what it is alignment first thing and I just have a process that I go through with working on my 2.0 version with manifesting and embody embodying that 2.0 version using my scenes that I've created mm. and um, at the moment, business wise, I'm, I'm so I've got a book coming out later this year. So at the moment, all my alignment is around that book being a success and yes. off the shelves. And, you know, I've got a beautiful visualization of it in the airport bookstore when I go to New York at Christmas. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm manifesting New York personally <laughs> and manifesting the book being there from a business point of view. Um, so yeah, that is how I use it. And I think I said to you before the call, I really notice when I miss it, especially if I miss it for more than a day. I notice my energy levels drop, my, you know, my vibrations dropped. I notice my um temperament change. You know, I just feel kind of I'm a little bit more, you know, not as patient, not as not as in flow, a bit more conscious of time and things like that because I've just I've lost that that vibration mm. it's so key I think one of the things that I I I can really wanted to speak to was around that you know just we do the deep work within the helix method and then we have our manifesting ritual so that we're really changing that frequency and that vibration each day because we're impacted by our environments you know one of the things that I take people through is as we teach them about the vibrational scale and being able to measure themselves on the vibrational scale so they can see the impact of the food that they're putting in their bodies the movie that they watched perhaps they've gone into a dodgy area of town all of that is going to be you know having an impact on your vibration the thoughts that you're thinking if we don't kind of take control of our programming and the thoughts and being able to really change those set points subconscious is gonna <laughs> go off and take take charge <laughs> oh, so yeah thank you so much for speaking to that yeah um, I'd love to know in terms of I think you've slightly touched on it but just for clarity for everybody is so one of the things we offer within the certification program is three ready-made programs around the prosperity codes of you know self-love and confidence wealth and health so that people can use them either as standalone programs or add them to what they've already got and I know you mentioned that you do do use them mm. 
how how do you use those in your in your business I think that's just really helpful for people yeah absolutely so originally I thought I would probably do them as standalone and kind of follow on but because I had a program that I felt was working I've weaved it in so I start with some self-love and then I move into the elements of my program like creating their own food framework and self-sabotage then we move their weight set point so we do all the work around that and then we move into more self-love and then I take some of the um, health codes so um, aligning optimum weight cleansing the emotional eating from the health rays the chakras the stress eating and stress energies so all of that so it kind of like it bundles it all up really nicely with all of those um elements so Mm -hmm. yeah and that is not to say that I haven't used the other programs because especially like obviously the 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 wealth codes that's not really my you know my forte that's not my niche but I was been working with a client for quite a while and we noticed that her business and her weight is really entwined and one of the things she said to me in the very first call she was taking some time out of her business because she can't it losing weight and running a business she can't do both at the same Mm -hmm. time basically and we needed to work out how that could happen for her uh so the wealth codes then come in really really handy because it was like there's this money and weight thing going on and we you know there's resistant around both so then we could work through the wealth codes together so yeah all of the different um smaller programs all kind of you can pull on what you need at any time but equally you could literally just you've got those programs that you can just run with awesome that's so exciting so exciting Uh, and what has this all meant then for your business in terms of your your positioning and how your business is 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 running if that makes sense yeah so I guess I feel personally that I'm offering something completely unique as a, as a weight loss, food, freedom coach. There is so many of us out there and we're all offering similar kind of transformations, but I've not come across another, another coach. Um, there might be one watching thinking I'm going to do that. And then I'm all up for that. Do it. Um, uh, but yeah, I've not come across another coach that works in this way and that can offer the energy healing and alignment side along with the deep mindset coaching, along with the support with their food framework and their nutrition. So I feel like it's elevated me as what I can offer as a coach. Um, But what's interesting is networking and the people you meet, the conversations are so different. Whenever I used to introduce myself as a, you know, a weight loss coach, food freedom coach, people would go down the conversation of, oh, I did Weight Watchers, I did Slimming World. And I'd be like, oh, gosh, you know, like this is not who I am. This is not what I'm about. And now it's more like, you know, I'm in it when I talk. Well, I'm called the food freedom fairy, which came because I've always said I feel like I've learned magic. That's what I say about the Helix. I feel like I've learned magic. And one day my little girl said to me, mommy, if you were a fairy, what would you be called? And I was like, I don't know, Jenny, the fairy. And she was like, well, I think you'd be called the food freedom fairy. And I was like, goosebumps. (laughs) um but so so it's helped me build my brand you know I am now the food freedom fairy which is really catchy everyone remembers and when I'm networking now I talk obviously about that side of things and I'm able to do really mini networking presentations in groups that are 10-15 minutes but about energy alignment and the beauty of the helix method is you can tailor it to whatever so in January I was doing one about uh, business goals and do you have resistance to achieving your 2023 business goals everyone all you know they all swayed yes so (laughs) I showed them how to release it and you know that it's like that's really memorable it's really unique and everyone's like wow like I need to know more about this so it's just helping me that that, you know it's not my field of work but I can tailor what I need um to to the audience that I'm working with or the audience I'm meeting to elevate my 
my food freedom business yay that's so powerful because and as you say that the business side of it might not be your your niche specifically but all those people that you were getting to to do the muscle testing around the resistance to the business they all were going to know someone was going to know some people that are perhaps wanting to have some food freedom and they'll be able to go you've got to go and speak to Jenny (laughs) absolutely and if they you know sometimes they'll come and say you mentioned trap trauma I've been through this could you help me and I'm like yeah absolutely so it's not that they have to be a weight loss client that you you know like there's Mm. that skill there isn't there you can um still work with them and to be honest if, if anyone is watching that has a difficult relationship with food we know it's not about the food or the weight loss it's about what's going on in our lives so again all of the different programs that I've learned through the helix method means that I have the tools to help them whatever is going on in their life that's huge that's really opened it up hasn't it then in mm-hmm. terms of being able to to help people oh, I'm so excited for you um what would you say to anyone who is thinking about certifying as a, as a helix method would love to hear your thoughts do it now don't wait don't wait <laughs> I think you know it would have been easy for me to to go oh great you're doing that I'll look at it down the line but you know just it's just added so much value to my business for my clients for my own personal needs as well yes I'd done the wealth wealth portal and I had those tools but going through the helix training was you know it, it was on another level so you're you're really stepping up and being able to help yourself personally whilst you're learning I suppose it's a bit like learning to be a coach isn't it or a counsellor you you have that practice and you 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 work on your own needs as well but yeah it's yeah just go for it and you get to meet such lovely people and share that experience with lovely people um and you've got those skills for life Mm. Uh, that's exactly it isn't it and you build on those skills and they grow as you get more experience and that actually you've just reminded me of one thing to to mention is within the helix method we you know we get you set up so you can run with it as Jenny was saying you can literally pick up the programs and go with it so within about 60 days you'll be ready learned all the foundational techniques but you've supported for a full year so I've created that now because you never know when the complex case is going to come up and it's perhaps you know it's just a different angle and you want that support you want my 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 guidance on something or and and the contributions from everyone else in the group as well I think that's just gold so I really wanted to create it so people are supported as they're evolving and going on the going on the journey the other thing I wanted to mention was because I've seen this come up is I know that people are going to want to go off a muscle test and there are some things that can come up because the subconscious can be sneaky um, because it knows that it's wanting to keep you in the version that you're currently at, not that 2.0 version that Jenny was talking about earlier. So it's going to want to keep you because it's wanting to be your friend. It's wanting to keep you safe. So it's going to keep you in that same spot. And I see this a lot where people are muscle testing, but they haven't got the experience and the skills that we have within the Helix Method certification program. And so they may ask a question in a way that kind of gives them the answer that's going to keep them in the same spot. So the subconscious goes, yes, awesome. (laughs) So one of the things I want to just guide people on so they can get an accurate response for you so that you can make an aligned decision either way, because otherwise the subconscious is going to give you one reading and your higher self is kind of going, no, go go and do this this way or that way. So your soul might be saying yes, your subconscious might be saying stay where you are. So this is where it's really key to 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 get the muscle testing right. So I just wanted to speak to this here. So if you're or this is what you can do if you want to muscle test on about deciding to certify as a as a helix method mentor. So the key thing is, of course, is to align your levels of consciousness, as we did in the masterclass. Make sure you're in a heart space and to clear the resistance before asking if it's in your highest interest as your next step. I hope that makes sense. So the questions, the first question would be, and you can say this in, in this way, is I have got resistance to doing the Helix Method certification. And you'll either go forwards or backwards. And then some other things that you can muscle test on just to see where the um, subconscious may be, the fears and the trapped emotions may be, may be keeping you keeping you stuck in this decision making. So you could muscle test and say, this will work for me. And if you get a no, your subconscious is believing that it's going to 
there's an element of this it's going to work for everyone else except for me <laughs> and we avoid using not and won't because not the subconscious doesn't always always hear that so just saying it in the positive is going to give you that clearer clearer reading the other one you can muscle test on is i have got resistance to investing money in myself mm. i have got resistance to having the result i'll create in the helix method certification so if you think about the results that jenny's explained her business opening up more visibility being able to help other clients have you know even better results than she was getting before and all the amazing things because she's growing growing her business sometimes it's the fear of having the bigger business that can stop us from doing the thing does that make sense mm. so I've got resistance to having the result I'll create in the helix method certification to see if you get a yes or a no I've got a fear of failure creating resistance to becoming a helix method mentor you can ask can I clear this resistance so that you're speaking to your subconscious so it's safe to let it go and then this is how you know you can you can phrase it is I'm ready to release this resistance to becoming a helix method mentor and having more success in life. So bringing the two together, I clear this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Now, I like to do it as you're repeating it out loud once and then twice internally. So this is keeping you in that frequency for longer. That helps with the um, the imprinting. And then <laughs> once you've done, you've cleared all those resistances and energetic blocks then ask, is this next step in my highest interest? And then you can align to being confident in your decision making. So this could sound like I make aligned decisions for my highest interest and I allow more success in my life. And I receive this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And that that will help you make an aligned decision. So I hope that helps people. And of course, do reach out if you've got any questions and um, we can take it from there and get those answered for you. Jenny, thank you so much for all your <laughs> love and contribution to everyone in our community and for, for joining us today and sharing sharing your experience of the, the Helix Method certification. You are very welcome. It is my pleasure. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you, lovely. And thank you, everyone, for joining us in the conversation. We'll circle back and answer any questions and say hello to if you've joined us live or on the replay. And uh, we'll answer any questions if they bubble up for you. Sending you all so much love. Thank you.